Welcome, Gemini, to your weekend reading for the 14th and 15th of July. All right, so let's see what's going on with you. The overall energy for Gemini. Overall energy for Gemini and love. So a lot of communication, whether it's with your romantic partner, others that you might be kind of talking to, kind of to maybe relieve some tension that you might be going through. If there is um, some frustration when you are not speaking with the person that you want to speak with so be open to phone calls sex messages things moving forward a lot of um, good things coming in um, sometimes if you're not literally receiving the communication from your partner that means that other things are moving forward that you can't see you know in a positive way so um, keep that in mind that perspective right now the the personal energy coming towards you for Gemini So that might be your soulmate for some. Now, because of the soulmate energy and how that um, affects different people in different ways, it doesn't automatically mean that you may be around that person, but it means that you might be at a distance, that they're dealing with certain things. Some of you might even be dating. Um, you might even be thinking like, well, if I can't be with my soulmate right now, maybe I need to protect myself and kind of um, talk to other people on the side just in case, you know, that kind of thing. Something like that came to me, so I don't always mention that, but some of you may be doing that like a defense mechanism. But I feel like a lot of you might be um, spiritually kind of called towards somebody in some way. So look out for signs of, uh, you know, love, your heart being pulled to someone else. All right. Now, let's see, it could be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Now, your response to this energy. What is your response, Gemini? See, that defensiveness, um, a lot of you feel like if you say something, you shut somebody down or you let them know about themselves or the fact that you really can't be around them. A lot of you are waiting for somebody to return to you so that you can give them a piece of your mind. So it's like a, a kind of paranoid a bit. I'm not sure if you want to move forward with something because you they might be uncertain about you. So let's clarify the two of cups for the personal energy coming towards you for Gemini. Yeah, that my person may be going through a separation, like a divorce. You could be going through a divorce as well. And others of you might not be able to be with your romantic partner because you're trying to reach this milestone. So I feel like finances, you know, could be coming through. And let's look at one more card. Um, Maybe some of you are focused on that. Your partner might be focused on that as well. And clarify the Eight of Wands for Gemini. We just spoke about it. So money. Money issues might be coming through. You may be letting your partner know about it. They could be letting you know about certain things that um, they may not like when it comes to spending bad habits and things like that. So keep that in mind. So that's going to be your reading. Tons of love. Lots of like to you. Tons of healing vibes. I do wish you the best. And you can always go to the website, psychicloveheals.com and schedule something for you. Have a good one.